guys, it's Andrea. I'm back with another unboxing for So Sampler. I think this is October's box. I think they're all caught up, y'all. This is a monthly subscription service for quilty lovers. It runs me shipping tax all in about $32 and some on change a month. If you guys want to sign up to So Sampler, um, it was recently, they opened the subscriber list. Usually there, there was a wait list. And I know a couple weeks ago it was open. I don't know if it still is, but I'm going to link them down below. Fat Quarter Shop is just a quilt store too. So you can get all your quilting needs or sign up to t any of their subscriptions, which they have tons of them. Cross stitch, fabric, many, many variations. Check them out. Let's see what's in this one. Everything is coming up roses. It is the October. I'm loving the colors on this front. There's always good coupons on the back of this too, which are just for subscribers. So I can't share the codes, but I can tell you what we got a coupon for. 30% off Jolly Bar book. Volume four. Ooh. That, a Jolly Bar, if you're not familiar, is like half of a layer cake. So like 10, five by 10 squares. Pre-cuts, 20 Jolly Bar quilts. I'm actually interested in that. So I'm gonna look that up. Yes. Here we have our product guide. Everything coming up roses. Let's get into it. Let's start with our notions. I'm gonna guess this is a portable lint roller. That's a total guess. I have no idea what it is. Am I completely wrong? What the heck is this? Needle twister, um, lime prime needle twister, value $10. The prime needle twister from prime, or is it prim? P R Y M, prim, prime, is everything it's twisted up to be. With a magnetic base, the prim needle twister safely and securely stores all of your needles, twist down to hide them away, and snap on the protective cap or twist up to fan the needles out for easy selection. Toss them into your sewing bag. You needle, not worry. Oh, okay. Cool. There's some kind of paperwork in it. Um... What is this? It has like every language known to man on it. Here's English. Insert the needles and pins with the point facing down. Take care, rotate needles carefully and with little force out of the container. Okay, I can see where they swirl up. Here's a little magnetic thing. And when you twist it, it goes down into the tube. This is very interesting. I like it. I like this. I had a needle keeper thing before that was kind of like this from Fat Quarter Shop, but my needles kept getting jammed in it and it wouldn't twist up. And then I would just be out of a needle. But this one looks like it would work better. We got a sample. I've never seen them do a sample product before. That's new. A sample of some soak. The washing, the laundry detergent. A labor of love, quilting feeds your passions for fine fabrics. We have three samples. When the last stitch is tied, you want to work your work of art to stay. Yes. It's got instructions for machine wash or hand wash. We have the soak gentle laundry soap and wild mint. 
That's an unusual scent for a laundry detergent. Here's a scent scentless fragrance free and yuzu. So this has a value of 424. Some expensive stuff, isn't it? Soak in the good vibes of this mini soak sampler pack. The eco-friendly formulation of laundry soap is easy on your most precious laundry. For example, all of your quilts. Made with plant-derived and renewable ingredients, it is biodegradable, phosphate-free, dye-free, and sulfate-free. Use a like traditional laundry detergent following instructions on your washing machine or wash by hand in a basin or a tub. Okay, I shall try it. And next, we have a template churn dash binding holder. Churn dash. Okay. Um, 1074, this adorable new notion by Riley Blake will keep you happy by keeping your binding tightly wound. It is made of clear acrylic and features a slot to feed your binding through. Simply wind the rest of your binding round the center cutout and it will be totally under wraps. The charming churn dash design has a cute finishing touch just as your binding is to your quilt. This is cute. Um, I'll actually use this. I wish I had more than one because I have several quilt tops ready right now to be quilted and the bindings that go along with them. I just have it wound up like this in the bag. My long arm quilters quilt machine is broke. So I'm waiting on that to get fixed very impatiently. But anyway, so I'm, I've got a, I think four quilt tops now backed up waiting to get quilted. Here's the little slot where you put the binding in so you can wrap it. I'll definitely use this. Wish I had more, like I said. That's super cute too. Super cute, different. Now, let's look at our block of the month. Every month we have a block of the month. This is block number seven of the Bliss Quilt Along. And I like it. This is what the block looks like. It's kind of hard to tell with that really light blue. There's pinwheels. Kind of hard for you to see. This is this pattern. Pattern is five dollar value. I'm actually working on an old. I've actually done one of the the goodness grows block of the month thing before. I finished that quilt. Got it to my friend. I'm actually working right now on the barn blocks. One that's like from two years ago, I think. That's what I'm doing right now, actually. That is, uh, the Bliss Quilt was designed by Joanna Figaro as a celebration of shapes and colors that create happiness. I'm liking the quilt along. I might actually do that one too. Now our quilt for this month, I mean our pattern, is two of a kind. Two of a kind. This is by Lisa Alexander and Susan Ake for Martingale. Value is $10. Apparently they've got a book out. Two of a kind quilts has a $30 retail value. We love it when these two are quilting together. Lisa and Susan have teamed up for a one of a kind book about scrappy quilting called Two of a Kind. The bonus pattern includes a fabulous pattern from each of them for twice the fun. Don't be afraid to pair it up with the country rose. Oh, it's talking about our fabric. Quit, quit being a spoiler. Okay. 
patterns. Oh, so there's a correction in here. Let's see what the pattern is. If I can find a picture of what we're making. There's a table runner, 18 by 15 and a half, and a wall hanging, 32 by 39. Here is the table runner. Um, a fence, the leaves and stalk and the flower, and of course it's reversible. Well, I won't like that. And the quilt is pretty cute. Right there. That's cute. Or the wall hanging, rather. I like wall hangings. Um, yeah, I might make that. Oh, there's a two and a half cutting template. What is that for? I wonder. Um, that makes me not want to do it when I say something like that. I feel like, oh, that's too much trouble. Hmm, do a template. Anyway, let's look at our quilt. I mean, our, our fabric. Sorry, I've been working all day and I've been up early this morning. Okay, this is Country Rose by Lila Boutique, which I love. Lila. Lila. Let's kind of see if we can see what she looks like a little bit. I can usually identify Lila Boutique patterns, fabric when I see them. Pretty distinct to me. I'm liking this so far. Yeah, I think I'm really gonna dig this. So I might do the pattern after all. Pretty pinks, like a pale dusty pink. Peachy pink. I like wordy fabric. This is a mini jelly roll of pre-cuts. Yeah, I dig that. This has a value of $21.98, $22 basically. Two of a kind Country Rose Junior Jelly Roll. The Country Rose Collection by Layla Boutique has this feeling two ways, a little bit country and a little bit ready to roll. This 20 piece junior jelly roll is a delightful way to sample the mix of artful floral, script and classic prints like ginghams and dots. In lighter shades of pinks, greens, yellows and blues, it will have you blooming with inspiration. I wonder what size this wall hanging. So we need for the wall hanging 10 jelly roast strips. That's all. You could do two wall hangings. Except, I mean, there, you still have to do um, background, of course. Provide your own background. Okay. I like it. So the mini jelly roll, the two patterns the block of the month, the needle holder, the binding holder, and the samples of soak. What do you guys think? Give me a thumbs up if you like the video, guys. Subscribe if you like to watch unboxings. See you at the next one.